playing Final Fantasy VI as we know it here. Um, let's grab this treasure chest up here. I actually have a, a guidebook to this game somewhere. Oh good, Phoenix down. That, that'll be useful. And my controller is being a bit wonky. That's okay. Let's use fire on these guys. Well, I should take care of them both. Good. Okay. So, we're gonna go to the next... And I gained a level, but I didn't learn any new spells. That's uh, okay. Uh, item. Don't have anything special there. Skills. Don't have any espers or any magic yet. Well, we have magic. We have curse and fire, and that's it. Uh, any equipment in our thing here? No. I'm not really able to change any equipment right now. Okay. Our status looks okay. Alright, anyway. <clears throat> I don't know why that stops every few seconds. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Do I even have a shield? That was weird. Okay, so I'm gonna just fire on both of those. Should be a pretty easy fight. Kind of get a lot of uh, experience gold, and the other treasure chest here is a sleeping bag, which you can use on the save points, but we're not going to do that. Let's go this way. There's some secrets somewhere, uh, but I am not really sure where those are. Like I said, I have the uh, guidebook to this game somewhere in storage, and when I say somewhere in storage, I mean I have no clue where it is. You saw, if you watched any of my Maya IRL videos, you've seen some of my uh, storage stuff. Okay. Walking around, I need to switch to that. Controls. Yeah. I need to get a new controller. Got her. Oh. Uh oh. And, well, this just happened to corner her in the one place where she would fall. Yeah. And she passes out. Enter the treasure hunter. Actually, no. Backstory. A sweet little magic user. Wee hee hee. With this save crown, I'll practically own you. Ah. Our lovely main antagonist of the game, Kefka. And by lovely, I mean fabulous. Um, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So, yeah. Kefka uses her to attack his own people. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Or at least soldiers for some other group. So we have um, Gestal here. We stand on the brink of a major breakthrough, and the days to come will witness a total revival of magic. So I believe that's Kefka behind him, uh, one of the generals, Celis, and Terra. It is our destiny, and ours alone, to take this mystic force and claim what is rightfully ours. And there's the... yeah, salute. 
Long live Emperor Gestal. Yeah, right. Not sure why you would remember that if you fell. But that's probably the first thing she remembered before the scythe card was put on her head. Not sure why she would remember the part after. But, you know. Anyway. Enter our plucky hero. What? <laughs> so we'll just rename Locke so that his name is in the lowercase here. Which is interesting. His name is Locke and he's a treasure hunter. Or a thief. A thief named Locke. Interesting. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. Uh -uh -uh. Anyway, were you the one who sent for me? Yeah, there's a girl I'd like you to meet. A girl? <laughs> Interesting how he knows exactly who it is. Imperial troops are pursuing her even as we speak. This town is no match for the Empire. Our independence can only be assured if we join forces with the Returners, an underground resistance movement. There's a lot of references to um, Star Wars, basically, and the Returners, the Rebels, the Empire, and, well, the Empire. Yeah. The girl wasn't responsible for her actions. We must get to her to understand her dilemma. Sure. Well, he's easily convinced. <laughs> Make your way first to Figaro and talk with the king. Figaro being like a reference to um, operas. Not the first reference to opera in this game, obviously. Okay, so there's this, which is one of the first instances of um, you being able to control more than one party. I'm sure that's in other games, but switching between the, the parties in order to get through a whole entire battle. Kind of interesting. But it's okay, because you have Moogles to come help you. I'm not sure why the Moogles are here and why they would help you. We'll get to that later. Koopo. Use this to save Terra from the guards. Need more information? Uh, no. But if you need more information, this is pretty self-explanatory. You, um, switch out the different characters so you can place them in the way of the guards. And looks like that one's gonna get through. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Kupak, Kupop, Kumama. Interesting. So, we want to fight. 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 Pretty simple. Wow. Uh. They each have different weapons. So. Yeah, this is pretty simple. Kushu, Kurin, Kuru, and Kamog. Just fight everything at this point until you get to the one with um, Mog in it. That's nice. Yeah, has a uh, boomerang weapon. continue fighting with this group here. You can rearrange them, I believe, but I'm... I don't remember how to do that. It's been so long since I've played this game. This will probably be a little bit longer episode because of this one fight. Oh good. This is actually Mog. Mog's party. 
and he has the ability to dance, but he doesn't learn it until we fight one battle. He's pretty powerful. He's probably more powerful than the other ones. He can kill things in a single hit. Master a new dance. Uh, I believe you learn a new dance for each um, kind of uh, terrain that you fight in. So he would learn the cave dance for fighting in a cave like this. These are pretty easy little fights here. Ah, yeah. So we'll show off Mog's dance here for a second. Yeah, Dusk Requiem would be the cave dance. You have to be careful with those because sometimes you'll. That's interesting. Sometimes you'll accidentally use the dance on yourself and it will go wrong or it'll trip and fall. So dancing is not always the best um, attack. So let's uh, bring all of our troops down here now. I want to put um, them in the same party. So what you do? Oh wait, okay. Hmm. I don't think you can rearrange the parties like that. Okay, so. We'll just fight him with the, this guy so I can steal from him. Hmm. Doesn't have anything. Or I'm not able to steal from him. Wow, that was a critical hit. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright. I'm gonna wanna heal. Yep, never mind. Should be able to kill him. That too much. Or not. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Hmm. All I have is a Phoenix down. Might as well just keep fighting him. There's not much I can do. Yep. Well, that was dramatic. <laughs> One hit point left, huh? Wow. Okay. That was intense. <laughs> so, yes. Rescues Terra. And time to run out. Pull the switch. Oh, wait. He has to talk to her first. <clears throat> and that's the exit from Narsh. Mm -hmm. Can't remember anything. She has amnesia. Right. Don't forget about the secret entrance to Narsh. I don't know if that was a thumbs up or what, but... Cute. Oh, well. Then they stick you here. But, if you're really curious, you can come over here. 
I don't think you can get back through the... No. But there's a secret entrance there. Or maybe it's a secret exit. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Check these barrels. Check all the barrels. Yes, my controller is a bit wonky. So, will it let us back in? No. No. Can't get back into Narsh right now. But, you know, they do want you to go to Figaro. Well, let's stop in here because A, there's a save point and that'll be the end of our episode, but B, um, <clears throat> can't heal up from our one hit point. And there's a save spot. Oh, also, there's items in here, so I always come in here and check these boxes. Move! Or not. Um. Hey, he got two attacks. Anyway. Yeah, sometimes there are monsters in a box. Sometimes you can check bookshelves. Sometimes you can check things. But, uh, the, we will go to figure on the next episode. That was pretty much the introduction to a lot of different things, especially our Treasure Hunter character. So, for now, we'll call it quits, and in the next episode we will go to Figaro.